The Nokia 6110, the bigger brother of the Nokia 5110, and the first in a lineup of business phones from the Finnish mobile phone company. Quite an eye catcher, but then again, at second glance, is just a similar design, only a bit, uh, a bit improved, at least according to the specification. This thing offered extra infrared port. It had uh, an improved um, interface compared to the 5110, which would go on to become the Nokia standard. It was based on the Series 20 uh, OS from Nokia. Um, well, really, it's lighter compared to the 5110, but also in enhanced uh, and improved with business users in mind. This would go on to span the Nokia 6 series business line of phones, which would culminate, in my opinion, with the 6310i. Uh, but in terms of design, I still prefer the Nokia 5110. I'm sad to report though that this thing will not be com a completely functioning unit. It turns on just fine and holds its battery, but the SIM tray is non-functioning. And since these devices do not work without a SIM tray, a SIM card, well, you can get the picture. I'll show you what I mean right now. So if you have a look at the 5110 model that I presented earlier on this channel, you have this SIM tray which locks into place and can be opened with a latch system. Now on the 6110 phone that I have here, the latch is non-existent meaning I can place the SIM into the SIM tray, but I cannot secure it in place. And when I glide the battery in, it just moves around. So unfortunately, this phone cannot be sampled today. But at any rate, you can check it out, uh, check out its innards. And if you want a more in-depth look at what an early S series 20 Nokia phone is really all about, check out my review with the Nokia 5110, which I will link right here. So that has been a brief uh, look into the sad to say non-functioning Nokia 6110. Quite a legendary phone, a true icon of the early 2000s and the late 1990s, but <laughs> I didn't get the chance to sample it. I got it from my good friend and colleague Claudio, and he just lent me a bunch of phones, amongst which this Nokia 5110, of which I urge you to check uh, my review here. Now for some conclusions. Would I recommend this 6110? Well, yes, most definitely. If you are a Nokia fan, you could get this Nokia 6110 together with the 5110 at a reasonable price. I believe these go upwards to 50 or maybe 70 euros a pop, but that should get you a good functioning phone. This one, I believe, would be closer in value to 20 or 30 euros. One of these batteries, though compatible, are not working. So I believe this one is an unworking one. So yeah, given the issues with the SIM tray and the battery, this would be quite the bargain. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth repairing. Um, from a monetary standpoint, I don't really have the time to invest in getting the parts and uh, fixing it. But if you have the available time, then yes, it could be easily fixed, at least issues like this with the SIM tray and battery and so on. So I guess that's my take on, the, on this Nokia Dynamic Duo. I thank you for watching and uh, as always, I buy, hoard, collect, and sometimes borrow weird 
quirky and obsolete tech stuff like these ones, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.